Hey, Chris Menard here. Couple easy Excel essentials tricks about moving worksheets, copying worksheets, moving or copying to another file. And I'm going to give you a couple tips that I have in here. This is part of my Excel essentials training. This course is coming out in June of 2023. Let's dive in right now. In the file I currently have open, I have a total of four worksheets. If you want to move a worksheet inside of the workbook, very simple. The employee's worksheet is my first worksheet. I'm just going to left click, hold down, mouse pointer holding a piece of paper, and I can just drag it around. There is a triangle showing me exactly where it is going to drop it. If you don't like where it is, just click again, hold down, drag and drop. That is moving a worksheet. Another way to move, and this way is a little more steps, is to right click on the worksheet, point to move or copy. I'm going to put this before the customer's worksheet and click on OK. There is another way to move a worksheet. That method may be the best method when you have hundreds of worksheets because that would be a long way to click, hold down, and drag. That is when I would use method number two. If you want to copy a worksheet, again, two easy methods. Method one is to right click the same way we did a mover copy. I'm going to select create a copy. And where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it before orders and click OK. You cannot have two worksheets the same name, so it calls it employees two. Easy, double click and rename it or right click and rename it if you want to. I'm going to actually delete it. So here's how you delete a worksheet, right click, and delete a worksheet, delete. When you delete a worksheet, undo will not bring it back. Method number two, and this is my favorite way to copy a worksheet inside the same workbook. I'm just going to come to employees. Instead of clicking and dragging, which is a move, hold down the control key. Don't let go of it. Now when you click and hold down with your mouse, your mouse pointer is a piece of paper with the plus symbol. You are creating a copy of that worksheet. Let go of the mouse, let go of the control key. That is the fastest way that I have found to copy a worksheet inside the same workbook. And again, you could right click, rename it, right click, delete it, whatever you want to do. A tip I have for you is this though. I'm going to right click and delete this one more time. So that's the employees two worksheet back on employees. Whenever I get an Excel worksheet inside my file and I know it is pristine, it is perfect, and I don't want to mess it up, this is when I usually right click and name that file, don't touch, don't mess with, and then I make the copy of the worksheet, and that is the worksheet that I use to start doing my analysis. So I know I've always got that one worksheet that is in perfect the way I got it, in case I need to go back to it. I could actually create another file, file save as, but I prefer just to copy the worksheet, just a matter of preference. One last one. What happens though now when I'm in this workbook and I need to copy a worksheet and put it into a new file or into another file? I'm going to put it into a new file. I'm going to keep picking on employees, right click, Move or copy, definitely click on create a copy. Right here are the names of your open workbooks. So if you have another one open, you could copy it to the one that's currently open. But in this example, I actually just want to put this in a new workbook. Why would I want to do this? I need to share this worksheet possibly with some coworkers, but they don't need to see the other three worksheets that I have. So I'm going to copy just this worksheet, put it into a new book. Click OK. Up in my title bar, it says Book 2. Do a file, save, name it something, and send them this copy, not the other one that contains the four worksheets. I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe and ring the bell. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.